Hi guys, it's Daniel here with another Mass Points video. This one's going to be on the 2001 Amy number uh, Amy one number seven. So uh, first, we see that we have a triangle ABC with lengths of 20, 21, and 22. We have two points D and E on AB and AC respectively with DE parallel to BC and DE going through the in center of ABC. And we want to find the length of DE. So first of all, let's just draw the angle bisectors. We can see that this is already drawn here. They're the dotted lines. And then we, since we have angle bisectors, that reminds us of uh, the angle bisector theorem. So let's just first use the angle bisector theorem here to find the lengths of, well, the ratios, B, call that, call this point, like, I don't know, call F. So we can find the ratio BF to FC by using the angle bisector theorem. The ratio is 21 to 22. So since we're working with mass points, why not just put some masses on here? We can set B have a mass of, oh, I'll use another color. Set B have a mass of 22, and C have a mass of 21. Now, let's just, let's find the mass of A. We can use another angle bisector to find the ratio of, let's call this, let's call this point G. We can find the ratio of AG to GB using the angle bisector theorem, and that's simply just 22 to 20. And by this, we can see that the mass of A is simply 20, which is pretty nice, since they're all whole numbers. Anyways, now we want to find a way to relate DE with another line that we know the length of. So B, BC is an obvious example, is an obvious candidate because uh, DE and BC are parallel. So let's see if we can link their length. So since ADE, triangle ADE and triangle ABC are similar because their angles are all the same, we see that the ratio of DE to BC is simply AP to AF. So if we can find the ratio of AP to AF, then we can find the ratio of DE to BC, and then we can find the length of B DE. So first we can find the weight of F pretty easily. That's just simply 22 plus 21, which is 43. And now since the weight of A is 20 and the weight of F is 43, we see that the ratio of AP to PF is 43 to 20, and therefore the ratio AP, oops, P to AF is simply 43 to 43 plus 20, which is 63. And now we know that the ratio of DE to BC is also that. So we know that the length of BC is simply 20. So we can cross that out. This is 20. And we can multiply both sides by 20 to find that DE equals 43 times 20 is 80, 860. You divide by 63. And since this is the most simplified form, we can put the fraction. We have M equals 860, N equals 63, and our final answer is 860 plus 63, which is equal to 923. And we're done. Hey guys, Long here, back with another video about mass points, and today we're going to learn about split 
masses. And then what do you ask is a split mass, my dear friend. A split mass is where you have a vertex right here. Right here. And and you have two s here, both segments have like different transversals and stuff. Stuff like that. And you need to split A into two masses. So A1 and A2. Two satisfy both these segments. And A